All right, guys, Louis Bertolucci here from LimeWedge.net and also LouisBertolucci.com. Um, I've got the Droid Bionic today, and I've also got the uh, the Droid Bionic Lap Dog made by Verizon Wireless. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick little review of uh, a couple of the features and give you a kind of quick little hands-on approach to it as well. Uh, heated your all's advice, so I'm going to try to keep this review as short as possible within five minutes. Um, and try not to take up too much of your time here. So what we've got here is the uh, the Droid Bionic Lap Dock. And you can see kind of like the size. You just pop in the Droid um, Bionic right in the back there. So you can see it's pretty slim. Um, I've got a couple size comparisons just to kind of show you. So when you think about the size of a, an iPad, for instance. Um, kind of similar and also uh, the width as well. I mean, it's relatively thin So they try to keep it light not too much computing power back there. It's all on the phone and then if we uh, open this up real quick And I just want to go ahead and give you a comparison a side-by-side -side of what the MacBook kind of looks like next to uh, the docking station itself So you can kind of see a comparison there um, somewhat similar the keyboards a bit more um, I guess you would say kind of clustered, so it's it's a little bit tougher to type on. But you can pick up the uh, the Droid Lap Dock right now for I think about two ninety nine, and it only works with the Droid Bionic phone right now. So uh, that is one downfall of it. Um, you can't use any of your additional phones on there; they just don't dock appropriately. Um, but I think actually, if you buy them right now together with the Droid Bionic and the Lap Dock, you get like a hundred dollar rebate off. So ends up being about five hundred bucks for both of them, as opposed to I think about six hundred right now. But as we open it up, you can see here um, the keyboard. It's relatively smaller, a bit clustered. It leaves a lot of smudge marks. I promise you my hands aren't dirty. Um, got a couple of your, your uh, keys here your, uh, for um, scrolling and whatnot. Actually, I lied. You can't actually scroll with this. Um, but what you can see here is uh, the actual phone. So on the right-hand side here, I can open up, say, my Facebook account, and it'll pull right on up. And I can kind of scroll through that if I needed to, but um, I won't. So you can close that out. And then you can, so you can access pretty much all your apps. If you want to send a quick text message, you can go ahead and open that up. Uh, send a text message off relatively quickly. Um, I can open up my Twitter account and browse the various mentions and whatnot. Uh, one of the things it also comes with is um, Firefox is natively installed on it. So you can open that up as well and just browse directly from that. Because I'm guessing most people, that's probably what they're going to do is for using it for um, internet power, if, for lack of better terms. But let's go on ahead and open this up. And uh, I've already got a website pulled up. So this is uh, my side website focused on social media. Um, and as you can see there, you can kind of pull up the full screen and it scrolls through relatively well. The only bad thing is, is the, the trackpad doesn't have any scrolling to it. At least I haven't figured it out if it does. Um, another thing is, is the keys are relatively close and compact. So it does become a little bit difficult to type, but you kind of get used to it um, after just a bit of typing on it. It's just like anything else. I guess if we can type on a cell phone, we could probably type on this trackpad relatively easy as well. So as you can see, you can open up these different websites, and this is completely running on the 4G LTE network. Um, so let's see if we go to LimeWedge.net. And it pulls up pretty quickly. So you can see that um, relatively fast, especially on the network, if you're looking to kind of browse on a larger screen and, and get to those kind of components, um, it makes it somewhat easy for you to kind of connect that way. Uh, one thing that I felt like I, that was somewhat of a downfall that I didn't like too much was uh, the screen didn't tilt back um, anymore. So uh, this is about as far as it's going to get. I've got to actually kind of tilt it back up like that so you can see it. But as you can see here, it's light, it's compact. Um, you can turn the trackpad off just by touching that button there. Um, like I said, you can go ahead and access the browser right from the, uh, the little start menu. It's also got a Facebook app and it just pulls up the Facebook as well. Um, some powerful things you could do also would be to actually um, open up Firefox and access like your Quick Docs or anything like that, Google Docs. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more efficient if you're trying to do like some business work on the side or um, something that your, your cell phone doesn't really, uh, can't really accomplish for you in that, in that given time. So we do have, um, I guess a, a couple of things to really note here is that, so you've got things like the iPad, which is about 600 bucks, um, to combine, this is going to be about 600 bucks. If you ever decide to switch cell phones, becomes a little bit difficult there, um, with regards to, uh, re really kind of, you can't really use this that much anymore. So you either have to give up your cell phone and give up the lap dock as well until they come out with the phone that's going to be maybe similar um, in docking and uh, you can kind of do that as well. But 
Um, and then also, I mean, with things coming out like the Kindle Fire and you have your, uh, your little tablet PCs as well, um, it becomes a bit of a differentiator. I can't personally say that um, I've got an iPad, a MacBook, and several different uh, other electronic devices. So um, I wouldn't personally purchase this device, but it could very well be the device that, that fits you best. Um, so there you go. There's a hands-on with the Droid Bionic uh, lap dock. And I'll just go ahead and just remove this out of the lap dock so you can see. Um, and actually we are on the 4G network, so and it just closes up just like that. And you can see how slim lined it is, so easy to stow away and put in your put in your bag and just go on ahead and head on out. Alright guys, uh, shorten it up a little bit this time, but I hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments uh, if you have any questions. Have a good one guys.